Hi guys, today's video is about a flea market pickup from uh, this morning. For 10 euros I got this vintage, actually it is a 1961 sound level meter made by General Radio Corporation in Concord, Massachusetts, USA. It is a type number 1551-C, serial number 2315. So it has a decibel meter uh, indicator here, some uh, rotary thing here, main function switch here. So for some reason, there is no battery in it, but when I move this button, the meter triggers. So do not know what is going on here. Something must be uh, accumulating a charge, maybe. And uh, oddly enough, it seems it has a waiting function also. Not sure how it did work. I am missing probably some accessories. I have seen uh, photos of it on the web. So did it came with a lever case, or did it came with a tripod and a external micro dynamic micro microphone with uh, output here for a power supply. So here is the case, as you can see, aluminium case with uh, Amerton paint. For some reason, they have screws here, but they uh, serve no, pur no purpose, in fact. And here is the back of the thing. So you can see the box is a little damaged by uh, corrosion from uh, batteries, probably. The rubber fit, though, are uh, really, really uh, nice for, the, for their edge. It's quite incredible. We do not know anymore how to do rubber. So I did remove the screws here. Here is the cover. As you can see pretty bad uh, damage inside. Really, really thick aluminium, by the way. And here are the contents. As you can see, it is really old school, military uh, grade, uh, almost uh, American made electronics. Look at these guys, we have diodes here, made by uh, Sylvania in uh, this kind of uh, quick release. Yes, it is a quick release pin, so it must allow to replace the diode easily. By the way, this one, I can see there is some kind of a powder inside, so I do not know if it did blow or what. It will we need some testing because it does not work. It works in a battery test uh, function, but it seems it does nothing in a decibel meter. So I didn't forget to mention this uh, microphone here. Is a sure microphone, by the way. Really nice. Look at this. But it is is it working or not? I do not know for now. Okay. So I will need to figure out how to test this microphone. Maybe, maybe it is defective. You can see the old uh, manufacturer plate here. As cool as uh, it should be onto uh, military stuff inside, in fact. So here, apart from this, you are here older for two uh, D cells. With quite a bit of uh, rust on this side. Here we have a can for the rotary switch. Let me remove this. So, of course, there are uh, imperial screws in this thing. Here is the rotary switch. You can see very, very old school parts on it. And also, look at this, this uh, old uh, 
1,536 diodes here. And uh, here is the earth of the system. It seems in a shop, uh, damp shop dampening uh, mounting to protect the tubes inside. Here there is a setting with a sticker you can see minus 59.4 dB. So it must be for setting the uh, sensibility according to the microphone, I guess. And if I remove this cover here, so I'm not sure if these screws are original. Yes, maybe. They look pretty much like uh, computer screws, in fact. The screws you use for uh, attaching your hand drive. And I am almost sure it is the same thread size. Yes, that's why. So if I remove this cover, there is some uh, mica, mica insulating uh, plate here, which is not uh, glued anymore. And look at these guys. We have miniature tubes and sockets. One transistor here, two N one three seven two, and a bunch of old crappy Sprague capacitors, which look very very sad. Not sure what we have at the other side of this. It looks like. It can be flip opened. Yes, yes. We have a more copy capacitors. Okay. So I do not know what we will do with this thing. Maybe I will sell it as is for a collector. So here it is testing, you can see this uh, cloth material around the wires. I have exactly the same one onto an aircraft instrument. Okay, oh, there is a loose wire here. Maybe it is my problem. Maybe it is why it is not working. So it needs this thing needs a little bit of love anyway. In order to try to get it working because it is very very old. It is uh, 1961 dated on the tubes. So it is 50 years old guys. Yes, 54 even. Oh, I did just notice I have more uh, Spots here for putting batteries. So not sure what is going on there. How many batteries you need to put? Maybe it is for a uh, 4.5 volts battery. This uh, terminal here. There is some uh, information about this device on the web. So maybe with a little bit of research, I will be able to do something with it. So, for now, thanks for watching. Bye bye.